In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it is that you can get a list of 1,800 plus companies listed in the NSC, the National Stock Exchange of India, including very important information such as sector, market cap, last dividend, etc. All of this for absolute free. And if you stay tuned towards the end, I'm gonna show you how it is that you can get important stock information such as dividends, financials, key metrics, and price data. That being said, let's get to it. Okay, so the way to get the stock list is very simple. All you have to do is click on the link in the description and then that will take you to this page on Google Sheets. And all you have to do is click make a copy. After you make the copy, then you will get directed to the actual file. So as you can see, we have the symbol, the beta, volume, market cap, last dividend, company name, as well as all these different important data points for each of the companies cover. And as you can see, if we go back all together, the list has about 1,831 companies. So that is a very large number. And now you can take advantage of all of this information so you can find the best companies in this list. A quick little tip you can follow is to use shift and then control on Windows and command on Mac to be able to select all the data at once. So you click the right arrow and then down, click on data and then create a filter. After that, you can simply go back to the top and then from here, now you can filter the companies based on the specific criteria you're looking for. So for example, market cap, let's say that we wanna see the most valuable companies first, we would do this. Another thing that you can do is of course, change the formatting of the numbers themselves. So I'm gonna select all these ones, go all the way to the top, and then I can change it to number, for example. This is gonna make it a lot more easy for you to visualize the data itself. In my opinion, one of the most valuable things that you can do with this list is filter through the sector of this spreadsheet. So what you can do is click here, uh, click on select all or clear, and then you could just look for very specific sectors. So for example, let's say we wanna do um, construction or consumer products click that and then it's only going to show you the list of companies that fit that sector depending on your preference something you can do is click on file and then download and then from here you can choose if you want to do excel pdf or even as a csv file if you're trying to do any type of uh, programmatic uh, operation now, if you're wondering where we're getting all this data, most of it comes from the company's financial reports, but for other information, we aggregate it from multiple sources. Now, here's the cool surprise that I have for you. So, as you can see, I've downloaded the list on Excel just so I can show you um, in a better way. But basically, there's this add-on called Ysheets. And the cool thing about this is that you can pick any company you like, and most of them are covered. So for example, let's say we want to do reliance.ns, I can copy that, put it here, or I can just look for the name itself, and then click on annual or quarter data, get data. And what you're going to see is that through this add-on, you're able to get the income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow statement, key metrics, and financial growth metrics, all of this going back to 2005. So this saves you a ton of time. Instead of being able to copy paste the data from another source, you can get it already formatted right on your Excel or Google Sheets spreadsheet. But the best part is this, Y Sheets has this custom function as well as this other one that allows you to get any individual data point you want. So instead of getting all the information at once, you can use these functions to get only the information you're looking for. So in this case, this is something that uh, one of the White Sheets users built. So in this case, you can see that it's using the function to get the ticker, the P ratio, and then in this case, it's getting it from all these years. If you click here, you will see it'll refresh and get you the data that you need. The best part about this is that you can use this with the NSC companies as well. So for example, Reliance. 
So once you build a model that you like, you simply change the company ticker and boom, you're gonna get all the data that you want right on your spreadsheet. And this includes historical data like it is like some of the financials, for example, revenue. And it's also lifetime price data, which is using the wise price function. The last thing that I'll show you is that you can also get dividend data for NSC companies. So for example, all you have to do is use the wise price function, enter the ticker. So we'll use reliance again. And then you enter dividend as a parameter. And as you can see, what's going to happen is that you're going to get all this data at once. So you're going to get the date, the dividend, adjust the dividend, payment date and declaration date. And you can easily again change the company ticker and get the same data. From here, you can do any type of calculations or filtering that you would like on your own. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like. And let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see. We're very happy to provide new content that you guys want. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.